Thousands of Pakistanis gathered in protest in Peshawar. They chanted slogans of free Imran Khan and demanded the restoration of their stolen mandate. Roads in front of the press club were choked as protesters started their march towards the high court where senior leaders of the party addressed the crowd. Pakistan, the Hrige Insaf, has rejected the inquiry commission formed following the letter written to the Supreme Judicial Council by six judges of the Islamabad High Court. Interim Chairman Barrister Guhar Ali Khan termed the letter a comprehensive charge sheet that ought to be reviewed by the Supreme Court, not a commission comprised of a retired judge. Lamenting the death of the rule of law in Pakistan, Secretary General PTI and leader of the opposition, Umar Ayub Khan, has termed the creation of a toothless commission as, quote, simply not acceptable. The letter was addressed to the Supreme Judicial Council, which the Honorable Justices of the Islamabad High Court had approached for guidance. Umar Ayub Khan has said that it should have been deliberated upon by that forum. Meanwhile, PTI's Information Secretary, Rauf Hassan, has said that he and the party have concluded that part of the judiciary is partisan and not acting independently. There appears to be no genuine desire to put an end to the interference in the judicial process that has been disclosed by the six high court judges. Judge Natasha Naseem Sipra of an anti-terrorism court in Gujranwala on Saturday awarded five-year imprisonment each to 51 accused in the May 9th false flag of last year. The proceedings were held in the central jail, Gujranwala, amid high security outside the jail and the verdict was announced. The proceedings of the cases against the convict were held behind closed doors. The federal cabinet has approved the appointment of Lieutenant General Muhammad Munir Afsar as the chairman of National Database and Registration Authority, commonly known as NADA, for three years. The appointment of the first ever serving three-star general as NADA chairman was initially made by the caretaker government led by Prime Minister Anwarul Haq Gakar on October 2nd of last year. Gaza's media office says more than 400 people, including patients, war displaced, and healthcare staff, have been killed during Israel's 13 day attack on the Al Shifa hospital. Al Jazeera has reported that Palestinian fighters attacked Israeli troops and armored vehicles with mortar and rocket fire during the Al Shifa hospital siege. Meanwhile, the Palestine Red Crescent Society has said that Israeli forces have killed 26 members of its teams since the start of the war on Gaza. The group said some 15 of its staff were killed, quote, while performing their humanitarian duties and wearing the protected Red Crescent emblem, end quote. At least 32,705 Palestinians have been killed and 75,190 wounded in Israeli attacks on Gaza since October 7th.